Hello, I'm Robert, and I just want to talk a bit about this message that you'll get when you first download any of my programs on the Mac. So you'll get this message that it's from an unidentified developer. Now, I do have an Apple Mac developer's license, but for techie reasons, I can't license the wineskins. It actually goes back to, if I go over and have a look at this web page, you see this Apple have just made this change in, in the way their, their app signing worked. And if you go and look at the technical note in some depth, and it, it says there, you, know, you don't need to read this in detail, but it just says that the if you read through those details, it says you have to change the structure of your application before it can work with these new changes in, in Gatekeeper. So the problem is that I did not develop this app the, that is to say the wineskin and there's nothing I can do about that I can't change the way it's structured so that means I can't sign it and the uh, so that's the wineskin that my programs run inside and I can't sign the programs without wine signing the wineskin and I can't sign the wineskin because it's developed for version one of, of the of gatekeepers licenses as signatures so there's nothing I can do about that for now. We just have to see if, if they change the way Wineskin is, is organized in the future. So what you have to do is to do control plus click. And then you get this open pops up. And then when that pops up, it says it's from an unidentified developer. Are you sure you want to open it? And then you click open. And then the program should start up. And there you are, good to go, and you'll come into TuneSmithy. And you can enter your unlock key and everything, just everything should be fine. So so that's uh, that, that's all I wanted to say. And just one other thing, it didn't happen then, but sometimes the very first time you run a program, it may start very slowly. It could take up to one to two minutes to start the first time you run it after you download it. If this does happen, then this is something to do with uh, interaction with Wineskin and the Mac. I, the, uh, there's a forum thread on the Wineskin, and I don't think anybody really quite knows why it takes so long the first time a Wineskin starts on the Mac. But it, it, if, if that does happen, then the next time it starts, it'll start very quickly within seconds. And, it, and then that seems to sort it out, except maybe it, when you reboot, or maybe just leave the computer idle for for some days then you may find that it's slow to start again the very first time you start it and no, nobody seems to know really quite why that happens and there's nothing I can do about it anyway so those were the two points that I, I, that I just wanted to make and if anyone here has any idea how of how I can deal with this you know, is there any any thoughts any of you who might be developers who have a techie background any work around for ways that I might be able to sign my apps inside the wine the wine skin with my apps inside them, then do let me know. Thanks. And of course this means that I can't put the apps onto the uh, onto the app store either. So you will have to download them even after the release, you'll have to download them from the download page. So any thoughts on that do let me know and uh, thanks very much.